How's it guys? Welcome back to another episode of my Storecraft X walkthrough. In the last episode we did some more story quests. We also did a single side mission that spanned uh, several objectives but gave us this awesome weapon. I mean just look at that, that, that is beautiful. Oh yeah. yeah. We went to barter for new weapons. So we have leveled up our reputation. Uh, we are now level 5. So we can go and barter for new weapons. Uh, let's go and have a look at what stuff we can barter. Yeah, we can get us. The Mosin, so let's do that. We're gonna drag over the old one and our bike materials. Then we pop them all over and we say bye. Now we've got ourselves a new Mosin with higher damage, I believe. 61 units of damage, 69 units of damage, maximum distance is high, I believe, and it's more accurate. All right, so it is. It is an upgrade on the last one. Pops out of the way. Uh, what else can we do? Okay, we've done that. Let's look at assault rifles. Oh, we can get this one. But that's a garages. We can get these two. Okay, we, we do have a barter coupon, which will give us 50% off. Uh, but I think we'll save that for these. Right, let's grab these two. Right, we gotta go grab grab that. I know I'm gonna do that one. So where is the other? There it is. Alright, we do that. Do that and that. Bang. Okay, we've got ourselves a, an AK74. I will compare it to our quest reward and we'll see whether it'll be better to use that one or not. Uh, let's do that, that. Alright, I went. I am a fan of the M16, but these early M16s, they, they do not have uh, fully automatic fire. So I won't be using that until I get at least the M16A3. And they also have a limited uh, magazine capacity, but they are super accurate. Okay, so we've got those. What else can we get? We can get the cleaners AKS at the garages. Let's have a look at some machine guns. Okay, what else? I think I might buy the submachine guns as well. You might ask why Why would I buy absolutely every weapon? Uh, it is because quite often you will be given a task to use a particular weapon and you want to obviously have the best of, of each category. And we are definitely getting this, absolutely. This thing is fantastic. It has a three round magazine. Unfortunately, it's still a pump action shotgun, but it fits in your pistol slot. Let's pop that in. Buy that. Alright, pistols. We already bought the pistol. So we can get this one. Our first blue weapon. When we go to the garages. And melee weapons. Let's grab this. Absolutely. Always good to have the latest melee weapon. Because it uh, increases the damage. And when, you do, when you're using your melee weapon... That means you're in trouble and you want to be doing as much damage as possible. So let's take our old one off. We'll put that away. Let's just sort things here. Alright, now we are going to set ourselves up. I'll put the new knife in. I'm not going to use the M16. Okay, the AKS-74 has higher damage, higher maximum distance, better vertical recoil, which is nice. Horizontal, not so much. Uh, draw time and aiming time is better naturally because this one has a scope. Uh, what else? Damn, and this thing looks so good. I kind of still want to use it. What, how big is the damage difference? Okay, the damage difference is massive. It's a whole five units of damage. Okay, I'll definitely be using this one then. Sorry, boy. Off to the storage you go. Cool thing is, there are mods, so we can pump out our guns. Okay, right. Right, that's beautiful. Full size AK. Very nice. 
But we're going to take our shorty and put it in there. Load that up. Very nice. Uh, let's put the old one away. Okay, now let's get some gun mods. Okay, let's... Uh, I'm going to show you a nice little trick here. If you're not sure what mods fit on a particular weapon, you simply come here and you open preview. Now, in this preview mode, you can put every single mod that fits on a weapon, like the grenade launcher. You don't necessarily have to have it. I uh, can put it. A muzzle break. We can put some fancy optics on. We can remove the stock, which increases the draw speed, but the recoil is worse. So I don't know why you would do that. Look at that. How awesome does that look? Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Okay. Right, we'll take all that off. And we'll see what we can actually afford to buy. Uh, wait, okay, we've got backpacks. So, okay, let's look at muzzles. Okay, we can't get anything here. The minimum requirement is garages level four. Okay, that's quite hectic. Look at the magazines. Okay, we do want to buy this. Let's buy one, two. Okay, we've got. We can't get those yet. Look at the hand guards. I want this. I can't get it just yet. What is this for? The info goes on the TOS 34. Okay, and this one goes on the BM. That's that double barrel shotgun. And then we'll be able to get these at the bar. Okay, we don't want that just yet. Can't get those. Uh, we don't need any of these. Okay, here we go. Optics. This one will be nice. I would like some of these, but can't get those just yet. Let's go ahead and buy them all. Okay, we'll buy that one. Buy that one. Where is our stuff? We'll buy those. There we go. Now, on to trick number two. You put your gun. Um, we, we're just gonna go, let, let's go shelf two. Put all our mods in there. Okay. Now, you put your, your weapon in your inventory. You click personal storage. You click the tab that has all your gun mods, which have their own little button for them. Menu, right click, modification. Now, it'll show us only the mods that actually fit on this gun. So, there we know that works on this gun. And then we know nothing else does. So, nothing else that we own can fit on this gun. But we've got multiple optics, and we know this one fits because it's the only one available. Let's, let's paint this as well. It's looking a bit bland. I'm sure we have a weapon paint somewhere. There we go. Let's hope it actually looks nice. Okay. Mm. Nah. That looks a bit crap. We will go with the classic look. We've got ammo on us. Put that away. Let's have a quick look. Uh, what we have to do here oops go to my level see the tasks okay dailies kill players with the submachine gun kill mutts that's very easy kill a player with a pistol use medicine use medicine okay they there's two that are the same so and that's just going to be very easy uh, i don't think we can actually get that medicine here let's double check quick uh what is this this is a radio protectant. There's bio. No, that's no, thermal. Damn, the bio looks the same. Just a different color slightly. Okay, we don't have it yet. We will have to go to the next area to get that. Not a problem. Okay, let's put our stuff away. We don't want to lose that. That guy's having a seizure. Shame, poor guy. <laughs> I don't think he's enjoying the music on the radio. It is really cool. Uh, I've, I've had to turn it off because uh, some of the music is copyrighted and then that affects my channel, unfortunately. Uh, let's quickly go check our gear. 
It does. Our armor needs some repairs, but let's do that quickly. Alrighty. Okay, uh, one of my, my users in my comments, one of my viewers told me there is a mission here from a little guy on the side here by the name of Hawk. There he is. Let's go have a look at that. A chubby man stops you. There's alarm in his voice. Wait a minute. You uh, Don't be mad. I didn't bother you without a reason. What is it? I've been here a long time. Almost a veteran. The name's Hog. I lost a, com a comrade named Noise. Did you know him? This is the first time I'm hearing that name. God damn it. Well, maybe you've seen him. He's thin and I got a portrait here. Wait a minute. A portrait? Well, I don't know how to write and describe things. Smart people help. Listen to this. Hog takes a crumpled notebook page out of his pocket, straightens it out and reads aloud from it. A middle-aged man, hair long and greasy, bulbous nose, cheeks with pot potholes. God damn it. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Got it. Uh, hog sighs wistfully. Got it, sorry to bother you. Here, take the sheet of paper. If you come across him, it says here where to look for me. There's money in it. Why do you need him so bad? What do you mean? He's my friend, a comrade of known since school. We went our separate ways after graduation. I came here and he started a family. And when he got divorced, I called him here for the big rubles. So he's a newbie, and I'm kind of his mentor. And how did you miss your mentee? Well, it happened to be a friend's birthday at the roadside. I went out drinking. I told Noise not to go too far from the HQ. When I got back, damn it, he was gone. Got it, I'll keep my eyes peeled. All right, so we got a, a missing person to find. What's up now? Let's see. We've got our shiny new AK. Well, not so shiny, but it's very nice. Skinny man smiles broadly and looks at you without blinking. Hello, Stalker. Let me ask you a question. Ask away. Great. My eyes tell me you're a smart man and you're not going to miss out on a little profit. My question is this. Are you interested in information about a place in the swamps where you can find artifact deposits? For the modest sum of a thousand rubles, I can give you the coordinates of somewhere like that. That sounds suspicious. Answer a couple of questions first. I'm all ears. Where did you get the coordinates of all these deposits? You want me to tell you my secret? Bruce chuckles. I will since you probably won't be able to use it. The military sometimes fly over the swamps and helicopters and map out all the interesting places, including the mountains of artifacts. Yeah, sure. I have very, very good connections with the military. Why don't you go and get the artifacts yourself? Good question. The days of me risking my own skin are over. Instead of risking it for ephemeral wealth, I prefer a bit of bread and safety. Yeah, sure. Uh, what if there's nothing left? I only give coordinates for each place to one person, but you're not the only one off in the swamps looking for artifacts. Listen, if there's nothing there, I'll pay you back half the money or give you the coordinates of another spot. Deal. Okay. Sounds alright. Makes sense. I think. Okay, I'll buy it. Pay 1,000 rubles. I'll send the coordinates to your PDA. Happy hunting. Thanks. Alright. New quest. Cat in the sack. Find the artifact deposits. Alright, let's go find us some artifacts. You know, you just the uh, mountains of artifacts just Sitting out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I think I'm stupid. Ah, so we got a new AK. Got a new shotgun. We are ready for anything that comes at us. As our objective, it's not too far away. Let's take out our melee weapons so we can run faster. Let's hit straight there. Costed by a bunch of rats. Any leaves? No. That's empty. Alright. The new quest, the ambush. Okay. That's... Oh! Fun. Oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh, where's he? Where's his body? Let's check. All right, what you got? I'll take your anti radiation medicine. Another guy up here, I think. There we go. 
I'll take that. I, I, I just realized I do not have any buffs at all. So let's eat some peas. And what else? Let's eat that. Now let's quickly check. I have the body. Stalking. Happy clothes mended more than once last curled up on a site. His hands are clutched to a wound in his abdomen. Apparently they finished him off with a shot to the back of the head. Examine the corpse. Only thing you find on the stalker's body is a blood soaked picture of a smiling, formerly dressed girl. A graduation ribbon is strung over her shoulder. That's depressing. Uh, this guy looks like a corpse. A young man is lying in front of you. His chest is riddled with holes. Bird shot at point blank range. Examine the corpse. Anything you find on stalker's body is all PDA smashed by point blank shot. Uh, that one's just this. Damn. One freaky looking dude. Man is lying on his back with his arms spread out. His face is covered by long greasy hair soaked in blood. There's a bulbous nose sticking out between the strands. It's like you've seen him before or heard of him. Examine the corpse. The glazed light green eyes stare into the sky. It's noise. The missing friend of Hog, the stalker from Adamant's XQ. Search the pockets. Find the coordinates of a place marked treasure trove in his PDA personal notes. The same coordinates Bruce sold you. Lee. That's highly suspect. I wonder if the rest of these mutants are here. There is a mutant spot right here. They are there. Let's see if we can find the rest. There appears to be one. A little strange. Right. On round four. Grab our free loot. Good lot of ammo. Let's pop out a few more. And off we go. Alright, we are back at the base. Let's talk to Hog. And then we find this missing friend, unfortunately. Oh, great. You haven't seen my friend, have you? Uh, seen him, unfortunately. What? What do you mean by unfortunately? Noise is dead. Are you sure? Did you check everything? All those vital signs? Could it have been someone else? Here's the PDA. That's his PDA, my old one. God damn, I tried to tell that asshole not to go anywhere without me. Ah, what am I going to write to his ex-wife and children? Maybe I won't write anything at all. Where did you find him? How did he die? It looked like he was shot up by bandits. You're kidding. What a bunch of bitches. He's only been here three weeks, I swear to you. I'm going to find this bastard and I'm going to kill them. Do you have any leads? Stalker Bruce told, uh, sold him the coordinates of the treasure trove and the bandits were waiting for him there. I got the same bait, but I survived. Oh, come on. That's an old trick, of course, but I thought I thought they don't do that anymore. Like that. Nah, I got old and the damn zone is still the same. I'm going to kill the bastard right now. In front of everyone? Hawk takes a deep breath and calms down. No, not in front of everyone. You're right. That would be stupid. There'll be a lot, of, a lot of problems, and obviously he's not working alone. We should get on their trail and kill them all at once. We'll have to be smarter. Are you with me? He scammed you too. Should we go see Adaman? Adaman, listen, Adaman is a good man. I've known him for a long time, and of course, I respect him. He'll send someone, and they'll knock Bruce around. Maybe he'll say something. Maybe he won't. But they'll probably kill him if we can't prove it's true. His gang gets wind of it, the bosses will scatter and lay low. No stalker, we have to take him out by ourselves as fast as we can, and to be honest, I want to take them out myself, of myself, on my own. What are we going to do? Great, I knew that I wasn't wrong about you, Stalker. Let's get him out of here. Intimidate him. He's going to hide with his own people until things settle down. You go see him. Tell him you found the corpses. Threaten to tell everyone else what he's been up to. Of course, he'll talk back. I know these assholes, but it doesn't matter. The main goal is to scare him, and I'll stay behind to stalk him. Then what? That depends on what happens. If we're lucky, he won't leave right away, and we'll go after him together. If not, I'm on my own. You can follow later. Don't worry about that. We'll contact each other via PDA and decide what to do next. Got it? Alright. Works for me. Alright, let's go talk to this dirty scumbag. Selling out his own people. Alright. Hello, Stalker. Can I congratulate you on easy money already? Oh, what a crap. You're actually the one who should be congratulated. Me? Why is that? You think it's easy for me to get information that's valuable? I think you're just like leading stalkers to their doom. 
The smile on Bruce's face is wide, widens even further. What's that supposed to mean? There must have been a misunderstanding. Some bandits attacked me when I got there. I also found the corpses of other stalkers, though there weren't any artifacts. Bruce shackled, you're new here, so let me tell you a little secret. The zone is a dangerous place. Bandits shoot at you and you could die. Or find the corpses of other people. As for the artifacts, apparently someone else got to them first. That happens too. As compensation, I can give you fresh coordinates or refund half the amount, just like I promised. One of the dead men had the coordinates of the placemark treasure trove on, on his PDA. Okay, but I still don't get where the problem is. I never told you I was the only one with the information. I don't know luck where you're going with this. You're in with the banners and I'm going to tell everyone. People are dying because of you. You're wrong. I'm tired of the conversation and how rude you're being. Eat it. Get ready for what's coming your way. Right. So now we're going to go tell on him. Let's go tell all the people. Uh, you again, friend. Come in, come in. Need something fixed? Uh, Bruce is selling the coordinates of artifact deposits. At, the de at those deposits, his bandit bodies lie in wait, ready to kill stalkers. Who? Who is Bruce? I don't know that one. But I'll make sure the right people hear about it. Let them sniff it out. If they, if they have to, they'll kill that Bruce. Thanks for taking part. Uh, let's go find the next individual. To spread rumors. Uh, here's this guy. Petra. Right. Bruce is selling the coordinates of artifact deposits, but he has his bandit friends waiting there to kill stalkers. Yes? Bruce just bought a gun from me. I didn't think he was such a bastard. And that smile on his face. Why oh, are you lying? Did he do something terrible to you? I'll keep my ear to the ground. If I find out you scam me, you'll be buying your guns at a markup. I'm not lying. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Uh, Bruce is a scammer. He sells coordinates saying there are lots of artifacts there, but it's really just his bandit friends. Really? That brat. I care too much about my own skin to meddle in other people's business, but I'll tell everyone I can. We'll see if he if he keeps deceiving people. Thanks. Okay. Bruce escaped. I followed him out. He's in the hideout. Not alone. Waiting right now. Sending coordinates. Alright. I do have some stuff I need to trade real quick. <laughs> the life of a stalker. Trading while hunting people down. Alright, let's go see. Hunting the Hunter, catch up with Hawk. Right, where do we go? It's quite far away, I'll see you when I get there. Ah, we are here. Let's go inside. New quest, Snake Pit. Kill the bandits. Bruce and three banded lackeys. These bastards. Woo, that was close, I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Bruce is lucky. Bruce is lucky. Bruce. Peter. And Hog, what the hell? Hog is breathing heavily. There's blood on his chest. Holy shit. What took you so long? My chest burns shit. I need to find a first aid kit. A first aid kit wouldn't help. My gut tells me I'm a goner. I tried to get here as fast as possible. I know, I was just saying that for the sake of fucking decency. It was my own fault. I followed him to the hideout, listened to them. He said he and his guys are talking about you, saying you found out about them. I think they were deciding how to kill you. And, and Hog covers his eyes. Hog? Hog opens his eyes and coughs. Oh yes, I'm here, for now. And they say it's a pity the whole case was solved. A whole new batch of corpses will be hitting the base. The new stalkers are corpses, bitches. It hit me that noise. My friend was also in with the batch of corpses. I couldn't take it anymore, so I rushed into the hard at gun at ready. I shot one, but they put a hole in me fast. You did well to put them down. You'll go far. How come they didn't finish you off? You're not going to believe it. Bruce, that freak, kept trying to convince me. He says it's natural selection. If these idiots are foolish enough to fall for that, then so be it. And he was also inviting me into his gang. We'll patch you up, and you can earn mountains of gold if you work hard. <laughs> I should have taken him up on his offer. Hog loves hoarsely. Shut up. Okay, Stalker, thank you for helping. You got revenge for noise and the other guys too. A damn good deed. That's the best reward. And money on top of that. Here, take everything I, I have on me. You deserve it. Thanks. Hogsmith's blood closes his eyes and stops moving. Alrighty, what did we get? Uh, we got... 
some pots, three thousand rubles, some very nice uh, first aid kits, expanding ammo, and pieces of copper wire. These are very valuable, so better rush straight off back to base with these. Right, rest in peace. They leave it on you. I hate that. Let's rush us back to base and hope we don't get murdered. And we made it back without being murdered. That's always awesome. Okay, let's check. We need to put that away ASAP. That's very useful. That, that'll that come into play uh, with uh, bartering for new weapons. Once we are at the garages, uh, what else do we have? Okay, we got some things we need to vend. Let's put that away. Let's put that away. Put that away. I already have some nice stuff. Let's look if I have anything I need to use. First aid kits. Everything's up to scratch. Let's go sell our stuff. Six hundred rubles. Not very bad. Personal storage, part items, put it away. Alright, I don't believe I have anything else, nothing. Alright. I seem to have done everything. Righty, we have done pretty much everything here. Uh, we bought everything. And so there is nothing else to do here. Let me just speak to this guy. See if he's got anything useful for me to buy. Uh, just so you know, these things are very handy when you're in combat. Like if you're fighting a sniper, uh, it helps uh, reduce bleeding. Uh, it lasts six minutes. So you, you use it before combat and then it helps when you're in combat. He sells anti-radiation. These increase uh, movement speed. These are handy. Uh, all right. So, let's move on to the next area. Right. Uh, we are going to go along here, all the way up here, and then we're going to go through here, into the swamps. Uh, into roadside. So, I will let you know when I'm in roadside. Alrighty, we are in roadside. Uh, when you first come here, don't die. Because uh, you'll be sent straight back to the swamps. And you'll have to make the entire journey again. I do not advise doing this. When you when you first get here, just go straight to uh, the garages, the stalker base. Because if you die, like I said, you'll get sent right back. But uh, let me show you the way we're gonna go. All right, we came in here. We can, we are going to follow the road, and then come through here, and enter the base. Uh, you can go across across the, the country, but uh. It's quite dangerous. There are a lot of anomalies and a lot of mutants and everything here is more dangerous. They all do more damage, all have more health. So we are going to choose the safe route. Just follow the road. Watch out for anomalies. But for radiation, be careful here. Sometimes this is uh, populated by bandits and and not stalkers, NPCs. Okay, where are we? We're almost there. I'm gonna take out my knife so I can run a bit faster. All right, you know when you see this bus stop, then it's time to turn right. So we'll follow the road. Do yourself a favor and don't go through this little ooh, hello. Don't go through this little village. 
go around it. Because sometimes, uh, not often, uh, a bandit will manage to make his way through and he'll sit in this little village and ambush people walking through. Which is a, a real douche move, but uh, what can you do? Okay, we're gonna go in the back entrance. And we are here and we are safe. Uh, welcome to the garages. We will now respawn here. Yeah. Unfortunately, because we do not have a lot of reputation here, we can't use any of the services. Like right here is the auction house. This is where we can put our own stuff on the auction if we want. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, here we have the repair guy. Uh, I think he might, you'll be able to use him, I'm not sure. Here we have the courier. Uh, him, we don't have to worry about, we can actually go here and we can collect all our daily stuff. You can only pick it up. Oh, we can't actually collect it. Not just yet. We have to wait until we are Oh, sorry, we have a higher reputation at the garages because currently we are newbie level one. However, it's it's very easy. All you do is you do your main quests. There's join us as assistant for our little spy program. And we have this guy here. You can talk to him. Alright, if you do get a bunch of stuff, like you get your mutant tooth and whatever. You want to sell stuff, you come in here, you go down, and you speak to this guy. Okay. Oh, he gave me some, some food. Alright, got some things to sell. Let me sell that, that, that. Yeah. And then, let's just pop some stuff away. Right, let me show you around. Obviously that's the fence. This is the dealer. This is where you come. You click on this tab here. And then you can use your trade coins to buy uh, barter materials. Uh, it's not recommended to buy low level barter materials. They, they're pretty easy to farm. Rather save your trade coins for the higher level stuff. Because you'll need a lot more in your biters. Let me show you. Okay, this is the merchant that sells gear. Hello, I'm looking for a job. Where you decided to ask me. Listen, I have enough assholes of my own to deal with, and you don't seem to be any better. Two eyes, two hands, two legs, and a total lack of efficiency. There's nothing I can give you now. Wait, what do I have to do so what I can work for you? That's the way to start a conversation. Hey friend, can I have a job? Ah, I won't do business with you. You're nobody around here. But if you want to buy a gun, you're welcome to. You can drop by and see Secundrans. He's got a job for an asshole like you. Alright, and let's say we're looking for a gun. Okay, let me show you now. This one. While you're at garages, you'll, you'll need a whole new set of barter materials the, the ones you you find in the in the swamps the stuff green mold swamp stones uh, uh, it doesn't work here so you're gonna find that so as you can see here we need 11 and 10. now we go further up and now you need pieces of copper wire remember i told you we got one from the quest that's important so you move on and it's even more now you move on, click the, the price is double. Go even higher, the price is even higher. And so on. if you go all the way to the end, you need an absolute ton of stuff. Let's look at weapons. Okay, we can actually buy this by the way. But see, it requires the IOU, so that's uh, what that use is useful. But we need Stinky Root and crap out. Quite a lot of it. Uh, let's go further. We need a ton more, plus some copper wire, a lot of copper wire. 
We need a ton more there. And then you move further, there is new stuff once you get to the bar. Um, when you get factions of the north, you need more stuff. And just look at these absolutely staggering numbers. 2,373. 400, 400, 500, 700. That's crazy. So, and that's why we say, save your trade coins. <laughs> Use it later. Yes, it's quite a nice now. Oh. Okay, yeah, he's the... He's the butter guy. Uh, this is the guy you get supplies from. Okay. Bought me a drink. Oh, that's pretty cool. No biggie. Being a newbie isn't the death sentence. Actually, it's the best time in the stalker's life. Everything's new and interesting. Every trip is a thousand adventures. You may not believe it now, but I'll say it anyway. Someday you're going to miss these times. I think you're right. And sure, enjoy everything before it becomes routine. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. It's nice that you don't whine. Sometimes a total eyeful barge in here and start blubbering. Can't kick him out, but it's unbearable to listen to. Uh, let's look at his inventory. Uh, he has quite a lot more stuff than the other guy. He sells a whole baby of grenades, tons of medicine. Oh wait, while I'm here, and antidote I can't buy just yet. I'll have to find it. But anyway, tons of ammo, new ammo types, and new armor that I'm going to buy. Okay, this is the second class of armor plate. You can tell by looking at this little blue symbol, you notice it has two little blue markers on it. Purchase that one. You'll see on, on our one, it's a class one plate. It only has one little blue symbol. So you can see at a glance whether it's a, it's a better plate or not. So we'll put our new one in. We now have more protection. This one will drop, we don't need that anymore. Okay, Ben's down here. Uh, medicine, ammo, everything. At uh, that guy. Lots of new gear here. Courier there. Armor repair there. Gear repair. Scientist is here. Auction house is here. And that's about it. Welcome to the garages. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. If you're enjoying it, please drop a like, subscribe. And also, please, guys, if you are enjoying it, click the notification bell and uh, YouTube will let you know when I upload a new episode. Unfortunately, because of the way YouTube works, I cannot publish this, seri this series to my subscribers. Uh, so you might not see when I post a new one. So keep an eye on my channel and hit that notification bell and you will see my when my new stuff comes in. All right. All right. Cheers, guys. Take care.